this is radhika i am going to discuss about the power electronic subject for electrical fifth sem students in previous classes we discussed about the power electronics many topics but today we are going to discuss about the speed control of dc or ac motors under this we are going to discuss about speed control of dc motors using choppers and shunt motors and all we are and also we will discuss about the advantages so in previous classes we discussed about the speed control of dc motors speed control of using single phase control and speed control of using choppers today our main object is we are going to discuss about the speed control using choppers for dc shunt motor and also we are going to discuss about the advantages of chopper control dc motor and comparison between converter control and chopper control so uh, this is the speed control of dc shunt motor using chopper here in this diagram we have the motor and it is the shunt field connection and also the inductance will be connected series to the motor and also we are, we connected the free wheeling diode it will be connected parallel to the motor and also we are connected the chopper to the uh, series to motor and also here the supply voltage vs and also here we have the supply current is and the output current i not that uh, that is almost equal to ia here now we are going to discuss about this one chopper circuit and also here in this circuit in this circuit the speed control of dc shunt motor using chopper circuit because this motor has less inductance in armature winding it gives it gives poor performance as compared to dc series motor to improve the performance of dc shunt motor an additional inductance is connected in series with the armature winding hence it is expensive than the dc series motor in this figure when the chopper is on the output is applied to the motor and the energy will be stored in the inductance which is connected in series with the armature winding during the off period of the chopper the inductive energy will be utilized for the flow of current through the free wheeling diode the average motor voltage is v output is equal to output voltage is equal to turn on time by total time into supply voltage that is alpha into vs here alpha is the duty cycle that is t turn on time by total time here frequency f is equal to 1 by t hence output voltage is equal to f into t on into vs hence the output voltage v not can be varied by varying the duty ratio of the chopper by keeping the operating frequency as constant in other method the output voltage can be varied by keeping on period as constant by varying the operating frequency and also the waveforms here we have the waveforms the waveforms of source voltage vs terminal voltage vt is equal to output v v not so here the armature current ia and dc source current is and free wheeling diode current ift 
So, in this in this circuit So, uh, this is the circuit diagram for speed control of DC shunt motor using chopper. So, in this diagram we have the chopper freewheeling diode that will be parallel connected to motor and also here shunt field. In this output waveform we have the DC output as a reference and it has the voltage current waveforms of chopper means on and off. Here alpha is the duty cycle. Here speed control of DC shunt motor using chopper. The performance will be less due to presence of less inductance than DC series motor. Here, the performance will be less due to the presence of less inductance than DC series motor. To improve the performance and inductance is connected in series with the armature winding. To improve, to improve the performance and inductance is connected in series with the armature winding. Due to the presence of series inductance, the cost is high. So, in this, when the chopper is on, the output voltage is applied to the motor. Then, the energy is stored in the inductance. The inductance will be uh, connected series to the motor. When the chopper is off, the energy stored in the inductance will be utilized and the current flows of the flows through the freewheeling diode. The freewheeling diode will be connected parallel to the motor. When the chopper is off, the current will flow from the freewheeling diode. So here, the speed control of DC shunt motor using the chopper in this, the output voltage can be varied by varying the duty cycle, keeping the uh, frequency constant. The output voltage can be also varied by keeping on period as constant and varying the frequency. The output voltage can also be varied by keeping on period as constant and varying the frequency. So, here the equation is the average equation of the motor is V0 is equal to Vt is, e, Vt is equal to T on by T into Vs that is equal to alpha Vs. Here alpha is the duty cycle that is T on by T. T on means turn on time by T means total time. We know that F is equal to 1 by t that is equal to v naught is equal to f into t on into supply voltage. So, here we have the few advantages of chopper control DC motors <coughs> that will be these circuits are the high efficiency <coughs> and also it has the small in size. The turn on time is very lies and regeneration of energy it gives the light in weight these are the light in weight and it will be smooth controlled and also we have the few, few applications of uh, chopper circuits that are industrial drives we are used uh, the chopper circuits in industrial drives in traction systems and the means in train system or railway systems or in trolley cars and also it will be used in forklift trucks in used in trucks. Here the comparison of the characteristics of 
comparison for converter control DC drives and chopper control DC drives. Here the operating principle of the operating principle of converter is it converts constant AC voltage into variable DC. The chopper is it converts constant DC voltage into variable DC means the converter converts AC to variable DC and the chopper is con converts DC to fixed DC to variable DC. Cost for same rating in converter is very less and the chopper is more. And also the maintenance cost for converter is less for chopper is more and chances for continuous operation a converter works more and the chopper is less continuous operation and also ripples in output is in converters is more and the chopper in less now now we can watch the one youtube video for the speed control of DC shunt motor using chopper. And my project topic name is that speed control of DC motor using step down chopper. There, is, there are various process to control the DC motor. I am here to discuss one topic to control the DC motor by using step down chopper. Step down chopper this is the concept of the power electronics. So why I am choosing power electronics device rather than using another process like to control the DC motor there are, there are another process uh, like um, to connect a resistance to control the EMF there are various process but I have chosen this power electronics by this way to control the DC motor uh, uh, because number one reason why, why I have chosen power electronics in case of power electronics you, you have seen that in power electronics no rotational losses number one number two the heat will be reduced number two number three the size the main thing of the size of the device will be reduced you have seen that in uh, in your home to control the speed of the fan, uh, we have we, we were using a uh, register uh, a big size of uh, regulator, but now our dust that has changed, and we have using we are using a triac device, and that is the uh, concept of power electronics. The main thing is that uh, the size will be reduced, but there are one disadvantage by using a power, ele uh, power electronics device that is the harmonic. But there are various ways to eliminate the um, harmonic current. Okay, so now I am I am discussing here how to control and how to make the circuit. Uh, all the thing I will discuss one by one. Please follow. So what is the requirement to control the speed of the DC motor? The requirement is that number one transformer is required this is the transformer and the rating of the transformer 220 volt to 12 volt there, there is the primary side and this is the secondary side here the 220 volt had uh, a 12 volt so i am converting a 220 volt uh, to 12 volt this, uh, here so because uh, and uh, here i am using a uh, DC motor the rating of the DC motor 12 volt that is why I am to I am using a this transformer to step down this 220 voltage to 12 volt now what should I do because this is the DC motor so we need a DC voltage because here output is AC voltage now my intention how to convert to AC to DC there are various way to convert AC to DC but uh, I am using here a rectifier by using a diode this is the diode circuit this is, uh, this is the diode circuit i am using this diode circuit and this to try to understand here already i have drawn this picture in that this way so this is the uh, rectifier this is the rectifier at first also the i2 this is the transformer this is the transformer here 220 volt is converted to 12 volt ac now it goes to a rectifier 
in a rectifier this is the rectifier circuit one two three four diode here using one two three four diode here using okay clear now now this output voltage output AC, dc voltage will be generated here output dc voltage will be generated now i i i have used a capacitor to repel to repel means that um, there is repeal voltage there is in dc voltage there is harmonic will be present that harmonic will be eliminated by this uh, connected a capacitor and that is connected to a parallel an output to repel voltage okay okay clear now now to convert here here a mosfet is using one mosfet is using you have to choose for a 12 volt dc motor uh, 12 volt dc motor you have using a uh, mosfet and that uh, rating the current rating uh, minimum maximum 12 ampere maximum 12 ampere rating you go to the market and uh, will say that uh, give a mosfet and 12 ampere rating they will give you there are code uh, you can search the uh, facebook and you can see the code of the mosfet uh, now what should you do then the 12 volt dc voltage is generated in that of air and that this mosfet is the this terminal is known drain this terminal is source and this terminal is gate this 12 volt 12 volt output is output is coming this terminal and this terminal and then it will go to the mosfet drain terminal mosfet drain terminal there are mosfets in the three terminal uh, are showing in that of air one in middle terminal terminal or gate sorry i am sorry i am extremely sorry and this terminal this extreme terminal this left terminal are drain sorry sorry left terminal or gate middle terminal uh, drain and this left right side terminal are represented source okay then get source then this source terminal then i have to connect the uh, diode so this is the chopper here i am using step down chopper you can use step up chopper you can use step up step down chopper there are various type of chopper uh, that, uh, that that we have known that buck converter boost converter buck boost converter but i, I have used here buck converter here here 12 volt 12 volt is step down step down here and the speed will be reduced so now this is the diode but in case of buck converter we should connect we need to connect our inductor we need to connect a capacitor so why we have not connect here why we have not connect a inductor why you have not connect a capacitor because already we have used um, a capacitor because of voltage ripple here already you have connected a capacitor so no need of connection of capacitor because yes okay but why you have not connect a inductor because this is the dc motor and this is this is the in this dc motor means in this in the case of the output is dc but inside of the dc motor ac will be generated and that ac will be formed a inductor value and that inductor so no need of connect any inductor value but because the dc motor has inherent capability to produce a inductor okay it's okay okay now now a mosfet is required a diode is required and a dc motor is required the rating of the dc motor 12 volt 3050 rpm and 1.2 ampere okay now this is the diode connected okay now this is the gate pulse how to give the gate pulse this is the go to the this is the i have using a triple five timer this is the triple five timer this is the connection see the connection this is the connection of the triple five timer by connecting this triple five timer timer i have to control the speed of DC motor okay a bit on bit is required and what is required to capacitor this is the triple five timer and this is the connection is done in this board and uh, this is the resistance this is the variable resistance uh, up to 10k this is the variable resistance and this is the another fixed resistance this is the another fixed resistance. this is the it is fixed fixed we have not changed any value this resistance yes you can connect up um, 1k resistors permanently okay because we have uh, and here the variable resistance clear so how to work this is a very important question 
how to ox and uh, how to control the speed so now i am opening now i am conducted how to open okay connect and opening the switch clear my tester okay showing not showing showing okay okay all the thing okay so this is the connect okay and the motor is rotating this is not showing actually good the motor is rotating at high speed motor is high speed now i am reducing reducing the this resistance resistance value this variable resistance i have increased the resistance the speed gradually decreasing gradually decreasing gradually decreasing gradually this is the minimum speed and maximum speed if i increase the register value this is the maximum speed generated so you cannot understand it is rotating or not so i am giving one other way technique Rotating. See, it's rotating. Now, reducing the speed. Sorry, increase the speed by reducing the resistance value. Goes to the maximum position. This is the maximum speed. And if we if we if we decrease the uh, resistance increase the resistance value, so this is the speed of change. This is the maximum speed. This is the minimum speed. This is the maximum speed. So how to reduce this value? I will discuss. So what's happened to here? We know that we know that the in case of DC motor, we know E equal to five P N Z by sixteen to A. Okay. 
so i need to control the speed this is speed e proportional to a phi n clear so now if i change sorry this is e. if i change the value if a flux is maintaining constant so my i mean is the e proportional to n if i change the voltage rating the speed also reduce so also if voltage is reducing then speed also be reducing okay so now this is the mosfet is connected to in that of here how to uh, how to given because here 12 volt dc is producing by using chopper by using buck converter buck converter what what will happen to here here output voltage output voltage will be d into vs so this is the 12 volt is generated 12 volt dc is generated and that dc volt output voltage this is the 12 volt into d this is the duty cycle and that duty, if i change this duty cycle if i reduce this duty cycle then what will happen the output voltage is reduced and that output voltage is reduced means the emf also will reduce or emf also reduce means e n n means speed of the dc motor also be reduced clear now the duty cycle is that what is the value of the duty cycle duty cycle is that v0 by vs so this is the duty cycle means what is the actual diagram of the duty cycle suppose suppose this is the um, uh, vs by using chopper uh, i have converted is the duty cycle this t1 t off t1 t off so this is the t1 and this is t off so duty cycle is that uh, t1 by t1 plus t off means how to change the duty cycle by using this diagram by using this diagram this using t45 timer i have to control this duty cycle this duty cycle clear so i means if i if i increase means this is the d equal to t1 by time period okay so if i change the this t1 and time period means uh, this is this bandwidth if i change this bandwidth then this duty cycle will be changes and that will be done that is that will be done by this t5 timer timer in case of t5 timer timer uh, t1 is that uh, 1.1 something rbs i don't remember it is that uh, by using this way you have to change the control the speed of this dc motor okay bye thank you so <clears throat> so this is the uh, video lesson about the speed control of dc shunt motor using chopper side tube so here in this now today we discuss about the chopper circuit once again i am uh, briefly explain the speed control of dc shunt motor using chopper circuit because this motor has less inductance in armature winding it gives poor performance as compared to dc series motor to improve the performance of dc shunt motor an additional induction an additional inductance is connected in series with the armature winding hence it is expensive than the dc series motor so when the chopper is on the output is applied to the motor and the energy will be stored in the inductance which is connected in series with the armature winding during the off period of the chopper the inductance energy will be utilized for the flow of current through the free wheeling diode the average motor voltage output vol output voltage is equal to t on by t into vs that is the alpha into vs alpha is called the duty cycle and also alpha is equal to t on by t and also we know f is equal to 1 by t here we output is equal to f into t on into vs 
Hence, the output voltage V0 can be varied by changing the duty ratio of the chopper. By keeping the armature, uh, the operating frequency as, as constant. In the other method, the output voltage can be varied by keeping on period as constant by varying the operating frequency. In waveforms, the voltage source terminal voltage Vt, armature current Ia, DC source Vs and freewheeling diode current IFT. And also it has the few merits of chopper control DC motor or the, the these circuits are high efficiency, it is the flexibility in control means smooth and efficient control, there is the lightweight, small in size, quick response and regenerative of DC energy. And also it has the few applications of chopper control DC motors are, in, it, it will be used in industrial drives, uh, traction drives and battery operated vehicles such as forklift trucks, trolleys, etc. So in this, today we discussed the class is speed control for a DC shunt motor using chopper circuit diagram, its operation and explanation. And also we discussed advantages of chopper control drive and also we discussed about the application of chopper circuits Comparison between converter control and uh, chopper control of DC drives. Here we have the few quiz questions and also here we have the frequently asked questions that are explain the method of speed control of DC shunt motor using choppers, state the applications of chopper control DC drive Compare converter control DC drive and chopper control DC drive in four aspects. State advantages of chopper controlled DC drives over converter control DC drives. So, this is the class today uh, about the speed control of DC motor using chopper circuits. In, in next class, we will go with another topic. Thank you.